Hello friends, today we're going to be joining our squares, hopefully we finish them. Um, so let me show you, before you start joining them, I suggest you lay your, all of your squares on the floor and kind of decide where you want to place them. And we are going to join the squares to make them look like this. So it's going to be two parts that are going to look like this. So this is the sleeve. And it's all joined okay so we're gonna do this and then this is the other side which is quite not quite finished See? and I like to start with the sleeves and go down and this is gonna be the body and then see I joined these two here and then you're gonna start from down here and go up and around and then you're gonna actually end up here at the cuff and then we're going to work on the cuff and then we're going to join the two parts and make the ribbon on the side and i'm going to show you how i, I do all of that so let's start off. okay so now that we finished our squares we're going to join them this is one half of the sweater i'm using uh, the baby squares just because they fit better in the camera frame so what um we're going to do is we're going to start we're gonna start here and go across like this um, and this is the body um, so we're gonna go across here um, we're gonna join down here see like this and then we're gonna go up and around and we're gonna finish here at the cuff okay so I already worked across the squares across the sleeve and portion of the body and I joined the two squares here at the bottom and now all I have to do is start um, at this end uh, which would be the bottom of the sweater and join my squares and go across once you get here where the arm joins we're gonna take just these two right the top layer if you want then go around right so we can go get started also uh, when you're joining your, your squares I suggest going maybe half a size up just to make sure that if you crochet tighter like I am um, your squares don't bunch up a little bit so just you know go up a half a size or a size just to make sure your joints are nice and loose and they don't get crinkly make a little loop with your yarn this okay and now we're going to start joining our squares so I'm going to go here in the corner um, so I'm going in the back loop and then for the other square that's on the other side it's still the back loop but for you it is going to look like the front loop so you're just going in this first little stitch here take your yarn with your little loop and you're going to pull it through okay and then you're going to go again back loop snag that one up and this one right see and then yarn over pull it through Yarn over, pull it through once, okay? One more. Yarn over, pull it through. Okay? Two loops. Pull it through the two loops, and you're good. It's just a simple single crochet. See what I'm doing? So I'm going here, and your squares should line up. So I'm going here, this first one. And the second one from the second square, see, and then pull through, pull through again, okay? And you're gonna do this all the way across. So now we reached where the armhole is and the sleeve needs to join. So I'm going to grab this stitch here, okay, 
and then I'm going to grab the corner from the square from the armhole so again remember you're just joining you want the hole to be here for the arm so you're just joining the top square don't grab both of them just the first one and then this is from the body so you're joining this with this okay so you're gonna be doing this okay and now we're joined Again, line up your squares, and you're gonna do the same thing. Just go across single crochet, and then you're gonna come around. So flip your work, you're gonna come around, down, across the sleeve, up, down, across the sleeve. All right, so and I joined my squares. Um, This is the body, I came up the sleeve like this. I'm turning my work, and I'm going to go down and join for the armhole if you're working um as i said these are smaller squares because they fit better in the camera frame but if you're working with a bigger square for a adult size sweater i suggest using um your stitch markers um if you don't have the ones that lock to hold your square in place just so you your squares are aligned or a couple of needles um you know like this just to kind of make sure that they stay in place and you don't um, lose a stitch along the way. So yeah, so just keep going, single crochet. All right, so we're here at the, um, like under the arm. And this part C tends to have some holes. So make sure you grab kind of all of these ends. It's not a, science but i kind of want to grab a little piece from all of them just to make sure it's tight and you don't have any holes in the you know under the arm and i'll just slip stitch through all of them okay so i just did a quick slip stitch just to make sure we don't have any gaps and any loose you know any little holes there and then I'm just gonna keep working my single crochets. See what I mean? Like it's nice and and tight over here. All right, so I'm here at the corner. Um, after joining my squares, I got here at the corner. So I want to show you what I do when I get to a corner. Um, so I take my new square that needs to be joined, and I go through the top. You know where we chain the one so i go through that the back loop only and then i go through the top of the other two squares and i just slip stitch um and i like to do this just to make sure that i anchor the square i don't know it's you know it's just a neater kind of join right and then we're gonna go again and the and the back loops and we're gonna single crochet across like we did before okay just want to show you this see what i mean like just a neater transition i guess between the squares okay so i'm here again at so i went single crochet across and then i'm here at the join that goes over the sleeve so what I like to do is put my crochet through the hook and then go under that join. Okay, and it's kind of, it's not a, <laughs> a science. Just wanna avoid having gaps and I'm gonna just slip stitch like that. Um, and then I'm gonna join my squares again. Right here. Like this, and now I have a good point to start and work um, single crochets back loop only all the way across until I get here at the end okay all right so we're done joining all of our squares we it should look something like this right um and we're up at the sleeve um so at this point what you want to do is 
tighten the cuff a little bit you can also leave it like this if you want i personally like it like the the puffy look um so what i do is i crochet three together all the way across so let me show you how i do it so you go in the first stitch over here so you pull up a loop and leave it there go into the second stitch pull up a loop leave it there so you should have one two three stitches on your hook so you and then you go into the third stitch pull up a loop and now you're gonna yarn over and pull through all four right that's three together three single crochets together and then you're gonna do that again go in pull up a loop go in again pull up a loop go in again pull up a loop so three times four hook four loops on your crochet hook pull up a loop pull through all four all right so you get this actually this very pre-designed design it looks like a flower so let's do that one again go in pull up a loop go in a second time pull up a loop go in a third time pull up a loop go go through all okay and you keep doing that all the way across until you get to the end and this is going to gather up your sleeve quite nicely okay so i got to the seam let me show you what i do so i go in this corner one right here pull up a loop and i noticed that if you skip this the seam you get a little like a little hole so what i like to do is i like to go into this one let me show you see this stitch over here i go right into that center stitch right there so go in pull up a loop so i have two oops okay like that and then go into that corner one right there pull up a loop or pull through See, like that all right so we're here at the end of the round so i have one and then i'm gonna go in this this corner stitch that's two and then again for the seam i like to go into this i hope you can see into the center stitch here just to avoid any like little holes pull up a loop okay and then pull through all all right so this is our sleeve see it's nice nice and gathered now we're gonna start working on the band okay. all right let's start working on the band now you can um here let's slip stitch into this first stitch here okay perfect now you can um switch crochet hooks um like go so let's say you worked the squares with a five go down to a four and a half or a four if you want your cuff to be a little bit smaller and tighter on the wrist wrist or just stick with the same crochet hook you were working with also if your a sweater is for um grown-up size i suggest at this point make your find the foundation chain of nine if it's for a child size make six so in my case i want to this is a child size so i'm going to be working six so foundation changes like one two three four five and six now this last um stitch does not count so when going down turn your chain and see this these little ridges here um you're gonna work in them in the back there so you're gonna go in the first one is a little bit hard to snag so let's go in there okay pull up a loop and you're gonna make single crochet so one 
to three, four, and last one down here, five. Okay, so we have that. Remember, if this is a grown up, you're gonna have eight at this point. So now you're gonna go down in these stitches that we just made. So you're gonna go slip stitch in the first one and slip stitch in the second one, okay? So slip stitch is just, if you go in, take the thread, pull it through, and then pull it through again the loop on your hook, okay? And you're gonna have one loop left. So you slip stitch in these two. Now you're gonna turn your work skip these first two at the bottom one two and you're gonna go and work in the back loop of your single crochets okay so you're gonna yarn over pull up a loop pull through two so one two three four and five you're gonna chain one and do the same and repeat, okay? Let's do one more together. So you're gonna go in, pull up a loop. Two, three, four, oh, four, and five for the last stitch right here. Again, in your case, you should have eight. So now you're going to slip stitch again in the next two at the bottom. And keep going and do what we just did all the way around. See you at the end. All right, so I reached the end. This is my little cuff. Um, so here, at the end, instead of going down, like you normally would, would and then um, slip stitch in the last two stitches at the end since we're out of stitches what we're going to do is we're going to try to join the cuff so what you want to do is just flip it kind of inside out like this okay see what i'm doing it's a little awkward so and you're going to grab this side of the cuff Okay, and you're gonna go into, see, the back loop, okay? Right here. All right, so you've uh, flipped your work around, see? Like this. Okay, and now here's your two ends for the cuffs. Um, here's the loop you were working on so now you're gonna what you want to do is find the back loop from the beginning chain we made remember so we're gonna go in here let's see if i can get it it's a little hard to get okay so here put it in and grab your working yarn okay and slip stitch okay and then you're gonna grab this part is a little tough because the chain from the beginning will be a little tighter so, so back loop grab it and then back loop from the other side and slip stitch okay so you're gonna go down like that so if you're making again if you're making a big size a grown-up size you're gonna have eight for a child size i like to make five but i mean it's not set in stone you can make it as like big big or small as you want you know it's kind of up to you <laughs> it's just what i did so here I am with the last stitch and I'm gonna grab it. Okay. 
Okay. And now you can cut off the yarn. There we go. Very satisfying hand pointer. And look, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's invisible because we worked in the back loops, so it's just blended in perfectly. Also, you can do the same thing if you don't want to slip stitch, you could do the same thing with uh, whip stitching again in the back loop on the on the inside. And here's half of a sweater. All right, so here's my two halves. Um, so this is going to be my front side. What you want to do is flip it over and you're gonna single crochet back loop only so this is the bottom of the sweater you're gonna single crochet back loop only across the back remember don't grab both sides just the top layer so you're gonna go across and what I like to do is I like to stop like maybe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five down. So stop joining right here um, and then just go and just do a single crochet. Uh, right, so here I am at the end of the round. So now what I wanna do is I wanna work single crochets um, on both loops just all the way all the way down um, and then across and then I'm gonna come up again single crochet and then just finish here where I started now this is an optional um, an optional step right so here um, I worked single crochets all the way down and I'm at the corner where we did the chain one from when we made our squares so what do you want to do is just put three single crochets, pull up a loop, pull through two, one, two, and three. And that will keep your corner kind of, you know, sharper. And then you're going to just turn around and do the single crochets across. So both loops um, of the stitch, so pull up a loop, go through. Up a loop, pull through, pull up a loop, pull through, pull up a loop, pull through. So that's a, a single crochet. So again, just um, go all the way across. Right, so we're at the end. Uh, we attached all the squares. Um, you can fasten off at this point or continue with your ribbing and add your ribbing here. I personally like to start add, adding my ribbon here at the bottom first and then come down with the ribbing on, um, on every side. Um, but you can do whatever you like. So we're gonna cut the yarn. Um, also, at this point, you could just, um, you know, sew in your ends and leave it at this. I think, um, even without the ribbing, it would still be a very cute sweater. I just feel like the the ribbing um, adds it an extra touch. Um, so yeah, so I think um, we're gonna finish here for today, and I'll see you next time when we we add the ribbing at the bottom and on the sides we make the buttonholes and sew in the buttons. Um, so yeah, see you next time guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye